Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving an algebra problem. At this point you may pause the video and try this problem yourself first. Okay, so we do have a cubic equation, square root of 2x cubed minus x squared plus 1 is equal to 0. So let's notice a couple of things. We don't have the x term, okay, so that's not always a good thing, but we just don't have it. And the coefficient of x cubed is square root of 2, so that's kind of weird. If the leading coefficient was 1, uh, it might be a little easier to solve. So we got to do something about this. Obviously, there's a cubic formula, but we're not going to use that here. Okay, so we're looking for an interesting solution here. So this is how it works. Uh, first of all, we want to make the coefficient of x cubed equal to 1. So how do we achieve that? We can achieve it in many ways, and I'm going to follow this method here. Let me go ahead and multiply both sides of this equation by 2. And you're going to understand why we do that in a little bit, okay? So let me go ahead and do that first. I'll multiply everything by 2. And I'm going to be getting this equation here. And then I'm going to do my magical substitution here, which is going to turn this x cubed with the radical into a single cube. And this is how it's achieved. If you notice that 2 root 2 is actually root 2 cubed, then it's going to be easier to kind of figure out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set u equals root 2x. And then if you consider this like u squared is going to be 2x squared, which is nice. And u cubed is going to be 2 root 2x cubed. Awesome. This is pretty good because now I can just substitute and solve this equation in a much easier way. Let's go ahead and proceed. So I'm going to replace 2 root 2x cubed with u cubed. 2x squared is automatically u squared, so that's, that's nice. Plus 2, the constant is just going to stay. Okay. So you might be asking, like, what is so good about this equation? Okay, fine. The leading coefficient is 1. Can we still solve it? Are we going to use the formula? No. We're not going to use the formula. We're going to take advantage some L, uh, take advantage of some algebraic manipulation here. What is it? Well, first of all, notice that the sum of the coefficients of this polynomial is not 0, which means u equals 1. You might be thinking, oh, yeah, u equals 1 is a solution, right? But that's not the case. But if you think about it for a little bit, u equals 1 is not a solution, but u equals negative 1 is actually a solution. Let's go ahead and plug it in and see what happens. I get negative 1 cubed minus negative 1 squared plus 2, and this is negative 1 minus 1 plus 2, and that's equal to 0, which means u equals negative 1 is a solution. How did, how did I know that? Well, if you look at the coefficients, the sum of the coefficients is not 0, but if you consider splitting them up, the evens and odds, you go ahead and add the odds and evens, then you'll see that they're equal, which means that u equals negative 1 is a solution. Okay. Once we know that, what can we do? Well, we can just go ahead and rearrange this cubic in a nicer way. Let's go ahead and do that. Knowing that u equals negative 1 is going to be a solution, I can just go ahead and split the 2. That's actually where that comes from. Like this. Instead of the 2, I can just write 1 plus 1, right? So I'm going to be getting this expression. And this expression is meaningful because now if you take out a negative 1, you're going to notice that we get u squared minus 1 from here, which is difference of two squares. So I do have a sum of two cubes and a difference of two squares. Awesome. We're good to go. Let's go ahead and factor this. u plus 1 multiplied by u squared minus u plus 1. And the other expression can be factored as u plus 1 multiplied by u minus 1. Okay, great. So now we can take out the u plus 1. And then the other factor is going to be u squared minus u plus 1 minus u plus 1. Okay, be careful here. We're not canceling out any of the terms. But notice that u equals negative 1 is a solution. And the other solution is going to be coming from the quadratic. Let's go ahead and simplify that. u squared minus 2u plus 2. Okay, again, the 2u thing like happy birthday to you. Okay, now. If it's somebody's birthday, then it'll be your happy birthday song. From here, we know that u equals negative 1 is a solution, obviously. 
What is the other one? Well, that's going to be a complex solution because you can write this as u minus 1 quantity squared plus 1. If you set it equal to 0, here comes our famous i. u minus 1 is going to be plus minus i here. Okay? So from here, we are finding that u is equal to 1 plus minus i. But remember, u is not what we're looking for. We are looking for x. And what is the relationship between u and x? We did that at the beginning, and it was a very important transformation, or you may call that substitution. So u is equal to root 2x. u is equal to square root of 2 multiplied by x. If we go ahead and set each one equal to this, and we're going to be getting the x values from here, for example. If I set this equal to negative 1, then x becomes negative 1 over Square root of 2, which is negative root 2 over 2. So this is going to be the real solution. And the complex solutions are going to be coming from this one. So if I go ahead and write it as 1 plus minus i. So now isolate the x by dividing both sides by root 2. And you're going to be getting this equation. If you want to rationalize the denominator, I mean, no big deal. But you're going to be getting multiply by root 2. You're going to get root 2 plus minus root 2i divided by 2. And these are going to be the complex solutions to our equation. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. See you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.